What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the middle of shooting for Monday's vintage shop on my website, link down below. But today we are going to go over my grail pair of jeans that I finally acquired as well as this little thrift haul because I just got back from the thrift. Uh, and yeah, with that all being said, let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the thrift haul. Um, I got three items. I paid $20 for these, um, basically just at the racks. But it was a solid day. I haven't found this much good stuff in a long time. So that all being said, first thing first, we have this 60s Harley Davidson cafe jacket. I believe this one's horsehide. I don't know 100% for sure because the label is ripped out. But yeah, this one's too small for me, so it will be posted in the drop this week on the website link down below. Um, but yeah, these things are super hot. Um, I've been looking for a slightly different style of this jacket for myself, but it was cool to find this one for super cheap. So yeah, just a nice cafe jacket. Uh, this one's like a size small. It's tagged to 36, um, but the measurements and everything will be with all these if they're posted um, on my website. So yeah, the next two are not like vintage vintage, but they are very nice. Um, we got some repro jeans. These ones are Denim. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, Selvage jeans, super dark wash. As you can see, um, I'm pretty sure these are like repros of like a 50s or, or I guess a 60s 505, but as you can see, they are selvage. Denim quality on these are pretty great. Um, I was gonna possibly just like wear them as some jeans to just wear, but um, they were super tight in this area, in the crotch area for me, so. They will be hitting the website as well. They have a great fade started, and I'm sure if you wear them a ton, they're gonna look amazing. And our third find is the one that I'm probably gonna keep. Uh, this is what started me, started all of me finding all this stuff. We have these Edwin, I don't know, the model number is lot 1964, so these Edwin light wash jeans, straight leg. I'm pretty sure these ones are like a repro, like Wrangler basically, 13 MWZ. These ones fit me pretty good. They're just a nice light wash pair of jeans. They are good quality and they were half off. So uh, yeah, I will take that any day of the week, but on the off chance that I don't decide to keep them, they will probably be listed on the website next week. Um, so yeah. That is our little thrift haul for today. I was just very excited because I normally do not find stuff that I personally want at the thrift store. And I found a lot more than this actually, but it was just all tax. So this is what I ended up getting. Um, but yeah, I found more. So let's get into the video. All right, so we have a pair of 1937 Lee cowboy jeans. Um, I paid 60K for these. Uh, they're very nice jeans. Just kidding, these are like a repro pair of them. Um, like I've said in my previous videos, I've been looking to just like buy more repros of stuff that I'll actually wear and see like if it's worth it or not. This was the first thing I purchased. They came in the other day and I've worn them every day since then. I absolutely love these jeans. Um, but we'll go over the details and why I love this particular model over any other model of jean that I have tried um, so much. And, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to take a look at them. I'll do a fit, a try on at the end. But yeah, basically these are a 90s-ish repro, Japanese repro of the 1937 Lee cowboy jeans, which famously feature this branded horsehide patch, um, which while we're on the topic, this is actually my least favorite detail of these jeans. Uh, it's like faux leather, which just seems kind of like cheap to me um, for the fact that they were like expensive repros. I will say it did fool a lot of people on Instagram. A lot of people think these are real. Um, 
but I don't know. It just it would have been nice if it was like an actual like leather patch on the back. Uh, I don't know if that's legal or not anymore, but it just would have been nice since they are like a high quality repro. Um, but yeah, getting into it. As you can see, they are a pair of buckle backs. I don't cinch them. These actually fit me perfectly. They're like my perfect size. Um, I was kind of nervous about that when I ordered them because I, like, they came in and I thought I had ordered a different pair because I was looking at two pairs. Um, I think one pair is a 32 and then these were a 30 and I normally wear a 31. Um, but they ended up fitting me like a glove. So we lucked out there. Um, but they have, you know, all the details. The Lee Cowboy button, of course. And then the donut buttons. As you can see, they are a pair of Japanese repros um, by the label. And then on the back, they have, uh, this is before the like little lazy S thing. This is when they were kind of biting Levi's swag still. So they have this little kind of arcuate type thing. Um, and the fit on these is a straight leg, but they're a little bit wide. They fit like my Biggie 501 S types and they are full selvage. So why do I love these jeans so much? I have had the, not the original of these, but I have had like 60s Lees in the past. Oh, I guess there's another detail. It does have the center tag Lee uh, tag on the inside there. Um, but, oh, and the crotch rivet, I guess, um, you know, that they later removed, obviously. Uh, there's more details I forgot about. If you know about Lees, you know that they also have these little cloth protectors in your pockets so your pockets don't rip. And I think the last detail on these, before I forget, is the UGWA tag on the inside of the back pocket as well. So I think that's all the details. Um, but why I love these jeans, these fit and feel just like my 50s, 60s Lee 101Bs that I totally regret selling because in retrospect like I grew so those would fit me right and then two is like they're just better than Levi's like every pair of Levi's I've had is ripped like crazy um I've never had a pair of Lee's rip on me uh they feel better they're a little bit softer they're a little bit lighter I believe too and I don't know they're just great jeans I personally think that the color on them is a lot better too, especially when they get this fade. This is like my favorite wash on a pair of denim. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just like them better than Levi's. Like everybody loves Levi's. Don't get me wrong, I love Levi's too. But these ones are just like a little bit better in my opinion. And uh, the other reason I love these is these were dirt cheap. I think I paid like $20 for these. Um, because I imported them, but yeah, I'm probably gonna buy more pairs of these. I have some more like repros of stuff that I've always wanted on the way too, so we're gonna see how those are. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just love these jeans. I, I feel like once you guys see them on, and especially if you like saw them in person on, you would understand. And just the fact that I got so many people who didn't know on my like Instagram stories, because people don't even know that there's repros of these. Um, yeah, I'm just like, it just doesn't matter. And these were 20 bucks versus like paying a ridiculous amount for other jeans. So yeah, we're gonna get into the try-on section next. But before we get into the try-on section, this is one of my videos so you guys know I have to plug the website even harder. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff from last week's drop still up if you guys are watching this when it premieres. And I will be posting 10 more things. Some of the stuff you guys already saw in the video, some stuff will be posted on my Instagram next week. So it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, but yeah, everything will be linked down below. I'm also gonna have my Grailed and Depop links up. However, I am in the process of like wholesaling all that stuff off. So 
If you guys see this before I take everything down, um, definitely go cop some stuff on there. It's a lot cheaper than like my website. Uh, and yeah, but I'm in the process of wholesaling it off. So I don't know if it's going to be up by the time you guys see this video or not. Um, but yeah, if you guys just want to support me and my spending habits, you want to see more pickups videos, uh, definitely link down below. It's very Portland, Oregon out today. Very overcast, so I apologize if it's hard to see. First try on, I guess, is going to be the Edwin jeans. These ones actually fit. Maybe they don't fit. Um, I don't know. These might be for sale, they might not be for sale, but they feel pretty good and they look good. Definitely fit like a pair of Wranglers though. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what they are. But I will change into the Lees for you guys. All right, so we are back with the Lees on. I threw on my Made in Japan Converse because I feel like that's just gonna give you guys the best idea of what these look like. I went true to size on these, maybe even a size down, I guess, in the waist, but they fit absolutely perfectly. There's the money shot for you guys. They make my ass look fat, of course. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're just a straight wide leg. They fit absolutely perfectly. And yeah, I'm just in love with these things. All right, but I think that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate it. I love making these videos for you guys. Um, drop a like, subscribe, etc., etc., And link down below if you guys wanna check out this week's vintage drop. But like I said, thank you for watching. Have an amazing weekend. And uh, yeah, I will probably see you next week.